Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I'll just show you how a master document works, how it can help you collaborate with colleagues who work on different elements of a document. So on the screen, I've got a blank document, which I'm going to save as master. So I'll just do control S and then call it master. Now, if I go to the view tab, in the view tab, you've got different views. We're in um, print layout view at the moment, but you've got this outline view. If I click on that, you'll get the outline view with the option to use this master document area, which is what I want to focus on in this little session. So show documents, open that up. Now you can either create one from scratch and just have a blank document, or you can insert one that you've already created. Now, I haven't actually created any documents at the moment. So I'm going to create one as, and assume it's like a chapter one and create another one and assume it's like chapter two of a book that you're writing, but different people are writing different chapters. So if I just leave this open for a minute and just do control N and I'll call this chapter one and I'll get myself some random text by typing equals rand. That'll get me some text. I'll make that heading one. And then I'll save this, control S, let it be saved as chapter one, save, control W to close that down, control N to get myself a new one, and this will be chapter two, chapter two, get myself some random text equals rand, open and close bracket, make that a heading style, don't have to make it a heading style, but I like to. Control S to save that one as chapter two, and then save it, and then close it. Control W. Control W means close window. So I'm not going up to the cross to close the whole program down. I'm still in Word, and I've come back to this master document that I saved earlier. So all you have to do now is you click on Insert in this case, and you pick chapter one, and chapter one drops in, and then you click on Insert and you select chapter two so they're both sitting there like that now i can collapse this down okay and it comes down like that as hyperlinks now the benefit of doing this is you could have 10 chapters with 10 different people working on them and this is like where they're all coming together you can put page numbers and table of contents on this document which will pull them through from all the other documents which is what i want to do now so I've got a blank screen. Now I want to open chapter one to simulate that I'm working on it. Control O, chapter one, open it. All I'll do is um, just make these first two lines bold. Control B, Control S to save it, and Control W to close it. Now if I open the master document, Control O, open the master document, it's got the hyperlinks there, for that chapter one, if I do control and click on it, it's just gonna go and open the document. It's like a shortcut, it is the path to that document, which is great. And I'll close that down, control W. What I want to do is expand this and put a table of contents on. So let's go back to outline and let's expand this. So you can see that there, the two chapters, there's a bold bit that I did in chapter one. So you can see it's working there. So if I get myself at the top of this, I want to go to the references tab and select a table of contents. Pick the first one, it comes up and it gives me the table of contents like that. And you can see it's in the document. So I've got the table of contents. If I go back to review and page layout, I can see the document, the whole thing, like so. Put that table of contents back how I had it, so it sits like that. It's better. Now, while I'm in this view, I can do insert page numbers. So I'll go to the insert tab and do page numbers, put it at the bottom, bottom of the, that one. So there's the page numbers. So now I've got this document, which is in normal view. You can see that. 
this is the book the completed book if you like you're just going through this and if you needed to add chapter three chapter four you can just go back and pick up those chapters wherever wherever they are by just going through this process again um show and then so you can just come back into this and click on insert and then you can add the third chapter so the idea is that you have multiple people working on a document you can pull them all into one place you can put the table of contents and page numbers on this document the master document and then you get the best of both worlds. People can work away. You see what they're doing straight away. You'll see it and you'll be able to edit it yourself or you can contact them and say, I need you to do X, Y, Z. So that's just a quick look at what master documents is all about. So hopefully it's of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.